So what that means is that when we're confronted with, with the Jesus of the New Testament, there are so many parallels to the Jehovah of the Old Testament that it's safe for us to say that the Jehovah, the Lord of the Old Testament, is the Lord of the New Testament. And that when we confront, when we're confronted with this big picture of who Jesus is, when we really understand who Jesus is, he leads us to some measure of obedience that happens immediately. Throughout this whole series, we've been trying to strike a balance to say, look, here's what the New Testament, because most of us, we live in a New Testament era, and what that means is, is for most of us, we're, we're comfortable with the New Testament. We study the New Testament more. If we're studying the Bible at all, we're studying the New Testament much, much more. And so we know the stories of the New Testament. We know the names of the New Testament. And then we turn to the Old Testament. We're like, well, I'm not as familiar with that. I don't know all of that stuff quite as well. But the old is revealing what the new, or the, the new is concealing what the old was trying to reveal to us all along. And once we get that big picture of Jesus... It leads to to me saying, I want to now be obedient in my life. The bigger Jesus becomes, the smaller I become. John the Baptist said about Jesus, he must increase and I must decrease. And the moment I get that, I say, man, I want my my life to truly be about this. That I believe in the death and the resurrection of Jesus. I believe that he died in my place. And as soon as I embrace that big picture of Jesus, it leads to an obedience. So we tried to strike this balance. Of saying, here's some Old Testament stories that point the way to Jesus in the New Testament. But here's some New Testament references that point to why that's important. In fact, we began the scripture I referenced earlier. We began this journey in Luke chapter 24, verse 27, the day of Jesus' resurrection. With Jesus saying these words. Beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. 